Hi everyone, it's Liz here and today I want to give you my take on the love of maths. The love of maths is uh, ritual number seven of Mark Overson's training, the seven rituals for quantum wealth. And I tell you what, maths is not one of my subjects. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there like me and never been a lover of maths. I've understood a fair bit of it, but no, maths is not my thing. I'm, I'm a creative person. I love to create. I love to dream. And there's many of you out there the same as me. But for success in business, we need to develop a love for maths or math, as you call it in the States. You need your maths because you've got to count your money. You need your maths to create a plan, a short-term plan and a long-term plan. Now our dreams and our hopes and, and our visions are long-term. They're called developing later money, your strategies for later money. But your dreams require funding and you've got to have your now money up and running so that you can fund your later money. You need to ask yourself the question, what, what, what is it that you can do to get money fast right now, right away? Now that might not be something online, that could be a bricks and mortar job. That could be a different job that you do for part of the day while you're developing your long term uh, business for the rest of the day. Then you've got to think about um, what what is it that you want at the end of the day you know you, you later money this is something that you're building you're building your skills you're researching you're finding a mentor you're finding a group of people who can support you in this you're finding people who think like you now this takes time it takes effort but it also needs money you need money to do all this sort of stuff you also have to think about an exit strategy Mark talks about exit strategies. What is it that you're going to do when you find you don't want to do this anymore? What is it that you want to do when you want to retire? How are you going to do it? And how are you going to build your business with this end in mind? And it's no use just having a mindset of I'm going to make as much money as I can and then just stop. What about all the people you're going to let down? What about your team that you've built? What about those wonderful relationships? You've got to think about all this time and effort that you're putting into creating this business to get your later money, you know, that's going to be worth something. If you build it with integrity and with honesty and with the trust of the people around you, you need to build this. You just can't let it go. You know, you've got to think of, okay, what's, what am I going to do in the future? I, I want to move in a different direction or I've just had enough and, and I need to retire now. You need to make sure that you leave your business on a high. You need to let, make sure that you leave your business that's worth something. I mean, someone might want to buy it. You never know. It depends what it is that you're developing. Just keep in mind that what you're developing now can also be used later on. You know, the contacts that you develop and you make now can also be steered in a new direction. Maybe you're making webinars or something like this that you can sell later on. You know, it just depends what your product is, but you've got to think of, I'm going to, I'll be able to use this later to move me in another direction. And if you want to do things like that, then you'll operate at a higher level and you'll give more value than what people ask for. This training is very deep. It gets very deep into different things and it's given me a lot to think about. In fact, my head's spinning from all the information that I'm trying to, to make sense of. You might take away something completely different when you listen to his training. But that's what my thoughts are for today anyway. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye for now.